And how do you do, y'all? I'm doing some whiskey here. Um, I had this at, uh, this is Jameson Caskmates Irish Whiskey, uh, aged in craft beer barrels. It's a stout edition. I had this at two uh, two places in the St. Louis area. Uh, first was at Pat Connolly's Tavern in the Dogtown area. I keep wanting to say pub, but the sign says tavern. Um, and then again at the Three Kings pub or tavern. I don't remember what they're called. Uh, and so I had it there twice. Uh, but on the way home, I found it at the Randall's in uh, St. Louis. So I picked up a bottle. I was very excited. I really enjoyed this neat, so I thought, well, let's try it Try it on the rocks with my new whiskey ball. Well, it's not really a ball. I don't know what happened. I did two of them good yesterday. Then I went to open it this morning, and both of them I ended up with half circles, so I don't know if they spilled in the fridge or in the freezer or what. But anyway, still in all, I'm using her. The aromas are very nice on this. Now that I'm trying this without having anything else before, maybe I've got a better palate on it because I'm I'm detecting some fruit aspects on the nose that I didn't get before. Oh wow, yeah, uh, like like a lot of whiskeys, um, colder uh, that sweetness tends to come out more. This ran about 38 a bottle. I'm not going to complain about that. This is very nice. I don't know if the back says anything about it. Uh, we've been distilling Jameson since 1870, but we're always open to try new ideas. Let me get that glass up there so you can look at the whiskey while I read to you. So when a local craft brewer borrowed our casks to age their fine Irish stout, it gave us an idea. Why not finish our own precious liquid? in stout seasoned oak barrels. The result is Jameson Caskmates, a special edition whiskey that accentuates the trademark smoothness of Jameson original with additional rich flavor of coffee, cocoa, and gentle hint of hops. Yes, I really noticed the coffee and cocoa in it when I had it. Neat. Don't know if I noticed the hops as much, but I wasn't looking for them. I was looking for more, more of those stout notes, which I was getting. But yeah, it is. you do get that spiciness at the end. That would be hop-oriented. Yeah, you know, you know my rating skill simple. It's a buy again or not buy again. I'm definitely buying this puppy again. There is no doubt about it. Uh, I can't find it in my neighborhood at the moment, but when I can, I will get it. Uh, let me add something else to this video. Three Kings is a pub I visited where I had this. Um, it's kind of a tourist thing, I guess, but one of their appetizers is this, a jar of nuts. It's it's about five bucks, and it comes with, well, the jar, which will be a nice beer glass at some point. If you're a beer geek like I am, I know you've spent more than five dollars for a nice glass. They are a seasoned peanut. I had it a little bit the other day. Let me tell you some. I'm actually not quite sure of the seasoning. It says on their website, I believe, but I'm not there to look it up. I apologize for eating in front of you. Oh, very nice. It's kind of a sweet spicy mix. I'm getting some almost like brown sugar notes in there with some, some light chili it's almost like a smoky, you know, kind of barbecue kind of seasoning with some, well, it's, it's almost like a barbecue rub, like a rib rub is what it feels like. There's a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spicy all mixed together. So, let's have a drink of wishy, wishy, let's have a drink of wishy, man. <laughs> Damn. You know, I fell down once when we were uh, in St. Louis and as drunk as I was through a good period throughout that vacation starting at the lake in, in on to St. Louis. The one time I fell down was in the morning before breakfast, stone cold ass sober. I shit, you know, I tripped over my own feet getting into a place. Unbelievable. So, so people remark about me not being able to speak or doing things. They assume it's because I'm drunk. That shit just happens, man. I usually don't make those mistakes when I'm drinking. Son of a gun. So I'm going to beer whisper. Today I'm the whiskey whisperer, having the castmates. Yeah, if you're a whiskey guy, don't be snobbish. There are some folks uh, say there's nothing good under 40 bucks. I disagree. This is a damn fine whiskey.